All right, scouts. What we have here is a classic example of a sheet bend. That's right, I said a sheet bend. Okay, a sheet bend is used um, for tying two ropes of different thicknesses together. So if you remember the square knot, the square knot is used for tying ropes of the same thickness. So um, or like two, two uh, lengths of this would we use a square knot. But if you wanted to, if you only had these two pieces of, of rope here and you wanted to, to make it a longer rope, you would use a sheet bend to connect the two. So let me untie this here and you can get after it. So you're going to take your, uh, your thicker piece of rope and you're going to make what's called a bite, which is basically you're just folding it on top of, one, on top of itself. Um, you're going to hold that like that. <clears throat> then you're going to take your leading end of your thinner of your thinner rope and you're going to come up through that bite. Okay. Then you're going to take it and move it around the bite. You'll see that I made a, um, a diagonal here, right? Um, so all you're going to do is you're going to go underneath that diagonal. So right now it's over top of it. You're just going to work that underneath the diagonal, but over top of the thicker rope, over top of the bite. So um, you'll see that it makes a, an X, right? And so as I start to, to tighten this, I'm just going to pull this trailing end of the thinner piece of rope, and you'll see how it cinches into that thicker piece of rope. So if I roll it over, it looks like that. That there is called the sheet bend.